Hey everyone, Christian here, and I am doing a vlog on not a palm, but a very palm looking plant. It's one of my favorite plants of all time, actually. This is Pandanus monothica, and I believe it is native to Malaysia. Um, a friend of mine from Australia gave me a seed of this, and they were about, let's see, they were probably just a little bit bigger than these here. And you can see the progression. For some reason, the ones over here they get bigger and bigger. It must have must be wetter over here. But I planted these in uh, late 2012, and now they're just massive. And it's just amazing, really, because I mean, uh, they are solitary trunk. You can see these aerial roots. You can see that one just kind of just loves it here, throwing out new. I mean, the size of the root to give you an idea. That's my hand. So they're like. I can't even wrap my hand around that. And then it kind of has this cool hatching, almost like a palmetto does. And you can see on this older one, the leaves, I mean, the, yeah, the leaves come off. So I can actually stand underneath this. Pretty cool. Um, and this one has about eight feet of clear wood and it's just taken off in six years. So this one, um, you know, it might put out some fruit cones, I, I imagine it is getting near maturity they can get it much wider in size when they're in this is these are in full sun so in shade they're going to be much bigger there's just no shade to put them in so um but yeah this is way out kind of in the middle of nowhere and uh it definitely gets cold out here it definitely gets down into the 20s uh probably every year and this is a tropical plant that seems to, to handle it maybe these get burnt over here but uh, these seem to have gotten through just fine. So it gives you the idea of the difference between getting frost burn and, and not getting burned. So um, the seed, from what I remember, is uh, about the size of like an olive. And it's going to have, a, you know, a, uh, a weird shape to it, almost like a, a Nipah seed. And uh, you know, they're going to want tropical uh, moist requirements to, to grow. But they grow very fast if you give them uh, heat and humidity. And uh, you can see where the, the, the name screw pine comes from. You can see it looks like a screw just going revolving around the trunk. And uh, it grows a new leaf just like a palm does, but this doesn't open a frond like a palm. It just has this big strap leaf. And let's see if I can't get a hold of a, one of these guys here. You can see this, those mat, nice spines going all the way up and down. You know, and I'm one of the smaller ones, I, I can get a much better. Here, this guy here, you can see, be careful, it's a very thick leaf, those spines. If, if I just ran my arm along, I might be bleeding quite a bit, so. It's amazing, I'm, I'm curious why some of these have done not so well and some have done a lot better. Like this is about, this is actually, this might be about the size I planted them. This hasn't grown any, and so then they grow better. It might be the water, it's hard to tell. They kind of have a bluish color about them. But this, they're they're very tropical in their germination requirements. Give them, you know, they don't <laughs> they don't need. Uh, there's a lot of gators out here, so I try to be a little careful. But they don't need. Um, they don't really need well draining soil. That's the one thing about pandanus. They don't need that. Their roots are kind of out. When you have aerial aerial roots or stilt roots, you uh, you're gonna want to give it a little more water because it's actually taking in water from above ground. So if those dry out, then it can definitely hurt the, hurt the palm. So, I'm sorry, hurt the plant. Close to a palm, but uh, but yeah, you can see the, the look here. That's a nice nice shape there. And uh, yeah, it's you know it's I don't really know what else to say about it. I'm kind of a little bit in awe of just how big these are. I never expected them to get the plant out and get this tall and possibly fruit. You can just it has this cool purple color right in the middle where the the leaves uh, kind of separate and it grows kind of in a trisecious pattern so anyway I'm gonna leave that here for now and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog if you did give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe you'll see many more plant vlogs and uh, if you have any questions about pandanus leave them down below and I'll see everyone next time